What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Caught presented by Catfish. I've got another crazy case in store for you guys today. It's about an online internet fraudster who was telling his victims that he was a millionaire and scammed women into sending thousands of dollars. So this isn't the first time that 34 year old John Martin Hill from Georgia was accused of fraud. He allegedly frauded women all across the country out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Investigators say they uncovered alternate identities that John was using in Virginia, Delaware, New Jersey, and Maryland to commit these scams. Police also allege that John changed his name at least four times since December of 2017. In the past, they said he went by Gregory William Davis, Gregory Davis Dutton, Gregory W. Hill, and Maverick Bryson McRae. In 2012, women that were scammed by him band together to create a Facebook account titled Stop George Hill to spread awareness to other women to stay away from him. He'd pose as a CEO of a company and advertise employment that would arrange interviews for women looking for jobs. He would ask the women for money, which he claimed was for background checks, insurance, and work permits. He would even give them a start date of employment, but each woman reported that Hill would stop communicating with them after that. After years of frauding, he must have thought that he would get away with it. Well, he was wrong. He met a woman on Match.com and they fell in love within the day after. The next day, they both agreed to buy a house together and a week after, he asked to marry her. He told her that he was a millionaire and she was convinced that he was. The woman claims that she cut him a check for $75,000 for a house down payment and another $8,000 for all the furniture. John apparently only had $9.84 in his account before cashing in those checks. She said he went on a shopping spree with all of her money and even bought a BMW. Um, after all of this, we met at a steakhouse in, uh, at the Alpharetta Avalon. After all of this, the business transaction went down. After she demanded the money back, John Hill disappeared and blocked her number. John was then arrested in May of 2017 in Tennessee. What kind of business was it again that you were going to sell her? Uh, Businessweek500.com, LLC. Um, it was a press release distribution company. The judge didn't believe him and decided to push the case forward. Hill says that he has no idea where all of this was coming from, and after the arrest, several women came forward to say that they were also in a relationship with John Hill. He ended up pleading guilty to one of the counts of theft, and he's now serving seven years in prison and was also ordered to pay over $83,000 in restitution to the women he stole from. And guess what? He's also banned from making an online dating profile ever again. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about today's case. For more in-depth details on it, please feel free to check out the blog linked in the description down below. For teasers on new episodes, be sure to follow us on our other social media pages. Hit that notification bell and subscribe button to be notified when the next episode of Caught, presented by Catfish, goes live.